How to run as a Windows NT service on Windows 2012 R2. Start the program. Set up directory monitor. So in this case I want to print all PDF files from this folder here. Every 8 seconds to this printer. And once you've done that click add to monitor list. It's all set up there ready. Now click you can either activate monitoring and let it run and test it that way to start with before you run as a service. In this case, I'm going to go straight to the service because I know it runs. Let's save and I clear previous. Right. So now I want to change the service login to same as admin. You can set this to the user. It has to be the user who has access to the printer that you want to print on. So in this case, local system tends not to work on 2012. So I'm going to use administrator password, save and exit, start service. Now, if I look at the service log at the bottom, it says that it's start of the service there. Now it's already started printing already. This is actually the service that is printing this. Now if it doesn't start, then what you can what it might be that in services now in 2012, go click and refresh. Sometimes you've got to grant it to start. It's a new thing. So, for example, I'm going to stop it here, start it. It's running. But the first time you do this, it'll say, Do you want to grant this service to run? And that's it. Now you can stop the service from within here as well. Uh, another thing is if you look at task manager you'll see service running there but you also see the I'll close this now so the service runner and batch and print pro running there 